All right, use the given x values to graph each function, then graph its inverse. I just did it on Desmos.com, free graphing website. So f of x equals three to the x power is this red graph. So f of x equals three to the x power. Now the green line is just the y equals x line. And that's the one where it's inverted over. And then the blue one would be the inverse of that. So this is the graph for f inverse of x um, equals, and this would be log base 3 to the x. So that would be the graph. Now, as far as the domain and range, domain, remember, is all your x values. So all of our x values are to the right of x equals 0. So we'll say, uh, we can say uh, x, so that x is greater than or equal to 0. So this would be our domain. Now the range is all our y values. That goes from negative infinity. And it technically goes on forever in this direction. Now, to get up here, it would take forever. I mean, it would take so long. But technically, it still can go forever vertically. So the range would be all real numbers. So let's try another one out. We graph for f of x equals 0.8x. That is the red line. 0 0.8 to the x. And then the blue line here would be the inverse of that. So f inverse of x equals log 0.8x. So again, domain, if you look at all the x values, they're all greater than 0. So we'll say x to the x is greater than or equal to 0. That's our domain. And the range for this would, again, be all real numbers. Because the y's could be anything, anything, anything.